Hi guys, I'm back with another video about GUI design in Android and um, the reason for this is because my last one went down very well, people loved it so I thought I'd do exactly the same again but with a different layout for a different client uh, this is uh, the menu I have to make here is on the right and it's very simple um, but let's get started so, and I must say, I've been away from Android development now for seven or eight months, so I might be a bit slower than I was. I've been working on uh, Codename One development. Uh, if you check out CodenameOne.com, you'll see it's a very nice cross-platform development uh, with a totally different GUI system. Quite good, though. Anyway, so I'm going to call this landing page .xml. I'm going to press Enter. And I'm going to press Finish. Now I'm putting this into an existing project which I have been working on for the last two or three years uh, for a theme park in fact, uh, Paltons Park. This is just um, a new addition to it. And I don't think I'm breaking any rules by showing you how to make uh, the main page. So. Now we want to look at the images that are available. I'll just amass them. Okay, so I've moved the images which I have been supplied into one directory here. And if we just look at the icons there, you can see they're separate. There's the background. There's the top bit. I'll make them a bit bigger, actually. There's the background. There's the top bit. So it's not actually part of the background. First button, second button, third button. Simple. Underneath we are social, there will be Facebook and Google Plus buttons and stuff, but that will actually be part of the button, I think. So that will be replaced later. So, first thing to do is to rename them, right? So they don't have any nonsense that Android will dislike. Try and keep the name similar to what it's been given, so that when they send you a replacement, um, it won't be a mystery what file you're actually replacing. I just use underscores instead of any other stuff like spaces or percents and remove all the capital letters of course strange Android but I don't know maybe some Linux throwback but I, I would prefer it if you could use anything you want and, and also nest these things in Android but uh, maybe that will come in the future so these are almost uh, Android acceptable. The next thing I want to do is copy them into my uh, resources file. So I'm just going to copy them all with Control A, right? And I'm going to find the project that I'm actually working on, which is down here somewhere. Uh, through, uh, then you go to resources, and I just keep I keep drawable empty, actually. Well, apart from the XML things you've seen, uh, I use I use X. HDPI, which means everything will scale for you. Uh, the OS will do the scaling. Right, so I'm going to copy them in. They've all appeared around various places. Now I've already got a backdrop, and I'm not sure if this one is supposed to be replacing that one or anything like that. But for now, we'll just keep. We'll just uh, we'll go. We'll use the names here as reference because that's uh, easier to than sifting through. The other stuff. All right, so we want a layout first. Now, somebody on my last video told me that the best practice is to use a, a relative layout as the very first layout on everything. Now, I don't know why that would be. I don't understand it. I've tried it a little bit since they said it, but it, it doesn't make any sense to me why that would be the case. So, unless say uh, comes forward and gives a good enough reason, I'm not going to do it. Now we can see that this should be split into four sections. Five actually, because at the bottom there's a section for tabs. Now they haven't got the images in the tabs yet, we're, we're going to worry about that later. So I'm thinking uh, a, a linear layout, like this one, with uh, blocks going down horizontally. I always get them two mixed up, uh, something to do with my brain or something to do with the way they've named it. 
Um, the five five blocks going down anyway in a linear layout would would basically solve it, wouldn't it? If you give them different uh, depths and widths. Now I'm pausing this sometimes to cough because I've had bronchitis, and uh, that's why I'm coughing and spluttering. That could be what happened in my last video too. Anyway, so first thing we want is a backdrop. So we go down here. We've got a background. And we remember what our background was called. Background. <laughs> so then, uh, just start typing background in there. Eclipse of names works. Let me get there. Oh, phone's going. Uh, it's a sip thing I'm doing. I'll pause this and be back. So, nothing like being distracted by millions of calls every sing single time you hit record. We now have our backdrop. Um, and we want to split it into five different things. Now, what what are they? Now, the top one is uh, it doesn't need to be pressed or anything, so we could make that another layout, right? So I'm going to try that for a start. Oh no, let's make it an image view because we can make the scaling work for us. All right. Drop an image view in. Find the uh, image, which is actually called header form two. Type that in. Bang! That just worked. Absolutely brilliant. Okay. So now I'm thinking. After that, we need another linear layout, uh, which is split into three. Now we've got to worry about the banner at the bottom, haven't we? One, two, three, four. All right, I'm going to make another linear layout and split it into four equal sections, just for now, just so we can see. So it's directly under there, right? And I'm just going to drop in another uh, image view into there. And I'm going to pick the next image, which is uh, here, 402. Right, so we need to centralize that. Now it's been a while. Gravity, is that what we use? Yes, we use gravity. Now that gravity affects the children within it, that's why I did it on the parent. Okay, so now we want the next button, which uh, is called Plan 402, and the next one after that called Social 402. Now I'm just going to uh, just keep dropping in image views. Another one there. Plan. And another one. There. Social. Right. It's almost there, isn't it, already? So, what do we want now? Well, they want it. we want a gap between them, and we also want enough space at the bottom for um, for the tabs. Well, I'm going to make fake tabs. I'm not going to use any real stuff. I think the action bars and the tabs and things like that, you might as well just fake them. You get a lot more control, uh, and you can do what you want. Um, so really these need to be a little bit smaller, don't they, because they're taking up a little bit too much space. Now, to do that, see they're on wrap content right now. How are we going to make those smaller? Because they, when they drop in and they, and they feel good like that, and you, you don't really want to mess with them. Now you can try a few different layouts here just to see what it really looks like. See, it's not actually scaling properly there. And this is the uh, the problem. It has to scale properly. So actually, it's just coincidence that it looked so good because the um, so, so because of the, the same the sizes were the same as like an iPhone one because I was using the Nexus One screen. 
Now, if you set both of this to fill parent, 